This practice could destroy your Webflow site, but the solution is so simple. When we apply a utility class directly to an element, anyone inexperienced can think they're affecting only one element, only to break the entire site. I've even caught myself doing this when working quickly, only to realize the change I'm making is affecting a utility on the whole site. Instead, we end up in a weird situation of combo classes, sometimes even classes on top of that, which creates a mess that's hard to untangle. Utilities can also ruin the maintainability of our site. If we want to change this to H6, we have to remove the brand color, the uppercase, and then switch out the H6 class. Then we have to reapply all those other classes and repeat the process across every element. Element. We end up overusing components for simple elements. When the whole point of a class is global reuse, this is easily solvable. Lastly, over relying on utilities restricts development, leading to very plain and templated looking sites. If we want this text align center only on mobile, here it's applied to desktop as well. Utility systems can't solve for every possible situation, and the ones that try to lead to a lot of unused CSS. Before Webflow variables were released, the only way to have consistency was to use the same class in multiple places. But that created a lot of limitations, especially when we only need to apply a value on a certain breakpoint or certain state. But thanks to variables, we can now store any value in a reusable variable. So if we wanted to apply the same value to a custom class that needs its own styles, we can now keep all of our containers site-wide consistent. Now, utilities still have their purpose. First of all, they allow us to work faster. Instead of manually reapplying these styles to a custom class each time, we're able to just quickly throw on an existing class. This also keeps our code cleaner, which leads to faster loading sites, because every time we click to add a style and get this blue label, it's adding at least one line of extra code to our site. So by reusing a class that already exists, we don't have to create new styles each time we create an element. Now to solve the pain points of utilities, we can make sure every element on our site gets a custom class. When we create a custom class, no extra code is added to our site CSS unless that class has a blue label, some kind of style applied. But without that, we can create as many custom classes as we want without adding extra code to our site. This basically future proofs our site for any possible change we might want to make to that element. There's nothing worse than getting to the end of the project and realizing the same type of form we've been using on multiple pages of our site, maybe with different fields, has no class on the success or error messages. And now we have to go back to every page manually and apply those classes to set a style. Making sure every element has a custom class future proofs our site for any possible change we may want to make. It also solves many of the utility problems. So if we add an H5 utility on top, and then we later decide to make a change like italicizing all of these footer subheadings, this hasn't affected the global H5 style at all. If we take a look at that H5, it's completely not italics. The changes that we're making here are only affecting the H5 that's stacked on top of the footer subheading. So we can safely make any changes without messing up our site. Also, if we have lots of classes stacked and later decide we want to change this H5 to H6 across every foot or subheading, we don't have to remove all of these classes. All we have to do is rename this stacked class. This isn't going to rename the global H5 class throughout our site. It's just renaming this class that's stacked on top of the subheading. Let's rename that to H6. Notice how the style changes across every single footer subheading, and it hasn't affected our global H5 class at all. So here we're able to reuse existing classes to keep our site code really light and clean, but still make any kind of global update we want. Now, sometimes we'll run into a bug with Webflow when we try to rename, where it says this class already exists. If you ever run into that, just delete the last word to a class that doesn't exist, and then add it back, and we're able to reuse that class. This allows us to work so much more efficiently. Instead of reapplying all of these styles manually to a custom class, we can just create a fresh custom class, we'll call this hero container, that has no styles on it whatsoever. Then we can quickly reapply our global container class, and all of those defaults for our container are added on for us. Then if we want to make some changes here, like maybe a min height 100 VH, that's only affecting instances of the hero container. 
that hasn't affected other U containers throughout our whole site. So then we can make any changes that are specific to this one section here. And if we ever want to switch out this utility for a different loan, like maybe container small, all we had to do is rename this to container small. And the max width here has changed, but our overrides that we've applied have stayed in place. This process of always using a custom class first can be a game changer no matter what framework you're using, and I highly recommend it for your Webflow builds.